Welcome to Wildlife Exposed, the channel for all things nature. Today we're counting down the top 10 native freshwater fish in the UK. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. For this list, we're looking at species of fish that live in or commonly associated with freshwater and considered to be native to the British Isles. Non-natives will feature on a future list. This video is supported by the Angling Trust, a UK-based charity that is the representative body for game, course and sea anglers in England and Wales. Number 10. Arctic char. Arctic char are members of the Salmonid family and glacial relics from the last ice age. With snow melting, these fish were trapped in many lakes and lochs of northern Britain, including the Lake District in England, Snowdonia in Wales and Scotland, which is a stronghold for these fish being found in over 250 locks. They mostly live in the depths of these lakes, so are rarely encountered by anglers. They live up to their arctic name by being the most northerly freshwater fish in the world, living in lakes and rivers too cold for their trout and salmon cousins. One of the major threats to arctic char is the acidification of waterways, whether this is from rain, pollution, or even conifer trees. Number 9. Barbel these cyprinids are found naturally in the eastern flown rivers of England, but have since been introduced for angling into the Severn, Wye and Chalk streams. The barbel gets its name from the whisker-like appendages around its mouth, which it uses to search for food, anything from invertebrates to small fish when bigger. The UK record currently stands at over £20, with anything over £10 considered a good-sized fish. They are perfectly designed for rivers, having a slanted down head which water flows over, pushing them nearer the riverbed, allowing barbel to effortlessly glide in the current. Number 8. Roach Perhaps the most adaptable cyprinid in Britain, it's found all over the country, in canals, lakes, rivers and ponds. Despite not getting to huge sizes, roach can live up to 18 years old, and a fish that's quite tolerant of poor water quality, so often found in urban waterways. Roach are known to hybridise with closely related species, like the bream, which have a deeper body, and the rud, which are more golden and an upturned mouth. The roach has an upper jaw that protrudes below the lower jaw, ideal for bottom feeding, but will take food from the surface also. Number 7. Tench. Sometimes called the doctor fish, it was once thought its slime had healing properties to other fish although this has since been proven to just be smaller fish trying to transfer their own parasites to the unwilling tench. Found in ponds and slow-moving rivers, its rounded fins make it unable to live in fast flows. Its distinctive green colour helps it blend into weeds, and it's one of the only coarse fish that is sexually dimorphic year-round. Males have curly pectoral fins and a bulge on their flanks. Female tench lack these and grow much larger than the males. Number six, brown trout. These are the most genetically diverse vertebrates in the world, coming in thousands of different variations and shapes. Like sea trout, which spend most of their time in salt water, only returning to breed in rivers. Others include the ferox trout, a huge glacial trout that turns cannibal, and small river trout, which can survive in tiny upland streams. So favoured were brown trout that during the British Empire, these fish were transported all over the world so generals and nobles could indulge in some fly fishing, leading to brownies inhabiting New Zealand, South Africa and Canada, to name a few. Number 5. Atlantic Salmon Often associated with Scotland, the Atlantic Salmon can be found all over Britain, where water quality and suitable habitat allow. Unlike its Pacific cousins, not all Atlantic Salmon die after breeding, and will go back out to sea and return to the river to spawn another year. They enter the lower reaches of rivers, sporting a bright silver colour. But over time in fresh water, the fish's body begins to change. The colour of the salmon becomes more golden brown and more drastic in male fish. The skeletal structure of the jaw becomes hooked and sharp teeth emerge to fight off competition for spawning rights. In highland streams, it can take salmon par three years before they grow big enough to go to sea while in chalk streams, the par can go just one year with the abundance of food available. Number four, grayling. Referred to as the lady of the stream, grayling look like they could be on a coral reef rather than British rivers. 
The term Lady of the Stream comes from its large dorsal fin, which had a dress-like look to it. Although ironically, males have the larger and more flamboyant fin. Unlike other British Salmonids, grayling are spring spawners, and males turn a deep black colour during the breeding season. They will fight for attention for female fish, and when she's selected a mate, he'll vibrate next to her and drape his dorsal fin over as they spawn. The Latin name is Thymelus thymelus, referring to its unique smell of the herb thyme. Once persecuted on trout streams, it's now largely left to its own devices. Number 3. Pike These are Britain's largest native predatory fish, with thousands of teeth coated in anticoagulants. When it bites its prey, they don't stop bleeding. Its body is streamlined, and fins positioned towards the back give it more thrust when chasing prey. Its mottled green patterns help the pike blend into its environment and stalk small fish, frogs, rodents, and even ducklings. Typically pike are solitary, but during the breeding season, groups of smaller male fish will follow the larger female pike, hoping to mate with her. Number 2. Perch Characteristic stripes along its body help it camouflage against predators and catch small prey. Smaller perch tend to move in large shoals, while the adults split off into smaller groups as they get bigger. Perch have two dorsal fins, the front one being full of spines and can be erected when the perch shows interest in something, while the back dorsal fin is soft. Perch don't have teeth, but rough pads lining the mouth to grip slippery prey and engulf small insects and fish whole. Number 1. Free spine sticklebacks. Although small, these fish can be found in a vast array of habitats, from ponds, canals, rivers, lakes, and even salt water. Sticklebacks are unusual among British fish, in that they show parental care, with the male assuming the role of guardian. He develops bright breeding colours to attract a mate. Although small, normally no bigger than a couple of inches, they are ferocious predators and take anything that fits in its mouth. A short lived fish, Really living longer than a year, they make up for it by reproducing quickly. They are hardy fish and can live in stagnant and even polluted water. Thanks for watching, and why not check out the other videos on the channel? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Cheers.